Hello, and welcome to this month's edition of the InDesign Newsletter, where I teach you tips and tricks and general things about InDesign. Who am I? I am Andrea Baslatin. I'm an Adobe Community Expert. I am also a, a graphic and web design college instructor. All right, so now that you know who I am, let's get started. So what I want to show you today is the edit if feature inside of InDesign. You know how you um, want to like edit an image and then there are certain things you can do inside of InDesign, but there are certain things that you can only do inside of Photoshop or Illustrator. Well, what InDesign allows you to do, instead of having to export the image out of InDesign and import it into Photoshop, make the changes, and then export the changes you made inside of Photoshop and then import them back into InDesign. Whew, that was a lot, right? What it allows you to do is you can actually, from inside of InDesign, you can um, you can edit if and what it's going to do, or you can edit inside of a program. And what it's going to do is it's going to um, open up your image or, you know, your vector inside of Photoshop or Illustrator. You make changes, you save those changes, and then you just, it just, you just go back into uh, InDesign and your changes are there, which is awesome. Love that, right? So that is the edit with uh, feature. Um, our theme is the Paris Olympics because the Olympics are in Paris this year. Hey, so that's going to be our theme. So as you can see, we have the skater and there's a lot going on in this. This is a full um, flyer, but you can't really see it because the skater is, her background is covering um, so if I click here and I go to our layers, you'll see there are a lot of layers, but we can't see it because the skater is covering it. So what we're going to do is we're going to fix that. We're going to go into Photoshop and we're going to get rid of the background so that we can reveal what the post is going to look like. Eh? Eh? All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and close the layers panel and I'm going to open the links panel. Mine is already open, but if yours isn't open, go to window, go down to links and click it and it'll open your links panel. Again, mine is right here. So we'll, we'll see that there are several links that are in here that you can't see because that skater is covering it. All right. So what we're going to do is if uh, make sure I'm selecting the skater OG PSD. All right. And with that one selected, I'm going to right click. And then I can go to edit with, and then I'm going to go to Photoshop. But if it was a vector, you would do Illustrator. I'm going to click on that. And then it's going to take me into Photoshop, which I'm in. There's Photoshop right here. And what I want to do is I'm going to go to the layers panel. And I want to isolate the young lady. Well, I'm not seeing any of my options because my background is locked. So I'm going to unlock the background. The way I like to do it, just for fun, is I'll click and grab the lock and drag it right down to the trash can because that's just fun. All right, so now I have an unlock layer that I can make edits to, and you'll notice some options showed up over here. So the option that I want, I don't want to get rid of the, the background completely, just in case I ever want to go back. What I want to do is I want to select the skater and put her on the top layer. So to do that, I'm going to click select subject and it's going to go through AI. Look at that. It uh, selected her pretty good. And I'm going to hit a shortcut key. Or if you're on a PC, it is control J. On a Mac, which I'm on, it is command J. So I'm going to click that. And now the skater is on top. And all I'm going to do is hide the background. So I just clicked on the I. And then all I'm going to do is save. So I'm going to either hit con Control or Command S, or I can go up here and just hit File and Save. When I do that, hit OK. Nothing else that I need to do inside of Photoshop. So what I'm going to do is move Photoshop down. I'm going to go back into InDesign. And you will notice that the background has left. 
the young lady is in the front and we have revealed the poster underneath. Isn't that awesome? And then I do want to point out that if you ever come and the background isn't um, gone, what you can, what you'll see is you'll see a hazard, like a yellow hazard. This one right here, it looks like this, but it's yellow. All you have to do is click that hazard, double click it, and it'll, and then um, it'll update. Okay. And if it doesn't update, you can just click on this right here, this little round um, arrows, click that, and it'll update the uh, file for you. But that is our poster. She was hiding it. That is all you have to do. If you want to see it again, we can do it again. Um, notice, as a matter of fact, I do want to make some changes. Notice, look in her skate. See that white that it did not quite take out? So I'm going to go back and edit in Photoshop again. Again, I'm on the skater. I'm going to right click. I'm going to choose edit with, click uh, Photoshop. And then I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. Okay, and I want to get rid of that white that's inside of her skate. I'm actually, the tool that I'm actually going to use is going to be under the object selection tool. I'm going to do the quick selection tool. And let's go ahead and select that. And then I'm going to go with... This time I'm actually just gonna delete it out and then I'm gonna go under here and I delete that out because I don't see me needing that in the future. Okay, so I just zoomed out and now I am ready to take this back into um, InDesign and let's see what happens. So I'm gonna hit Command or Control S, save that. And then I'm gonna go back into InDesign and let's see if it updated. And you'll notice that that skate updated. In any event, that's how you make those quick uh, changes. I'm going to save this. And that, my friends, is how you edit with inside of InDesign. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed everything that I went over with you today. If you did, please give us a like, a comment, and subscribe. That lets YouTube know that you actually like the content. Hey, if there's something that you wanted to know about and it wasn't covered, just let us know. Put a comment, put it into the comments, and we will create a video for you. All right? So until next time, ta-ta for now. Ta-ta, ta-ta.